Hello everybody, it's time for another episode of AZ Camera Reviews and I know I have not posted very much tech stuff in the last couple of weeks because I've been working on my parents house but um, I'm back with a kind of a cool tech product. Uh, I was looking online the other day and I saw this thing it was called a personal air purifier and this is the box and basically what it is it's a mask that fits over your face and then it's got a, a tube and it goes into a small square box and inside the box is a HEPA filter and um, the tube connects to your mask and what it does is it filters the air coming into it pushes the air up into the mask and gives you clean air to breathe the one thing is because it's a positive air pressure against your face, that means everything you're breathing out is not staying inside the mask. Some of it may be passed on into the air outside. So it may be good for you, but it may not be good for other people around you. But if you're in a situation where you just want clean air to breathe, this is probably a great product for you. So. Now let's take a look at what's inside the box and uh, check it out. So here's the box that it comes in. Of course, it's made in China. Where else would it be made, right? Anyway, um, let's just open up the box and see what's inside. So we open up the box and the first thing we see is the manual for it. And it's, it's a manual, it's in color and it's not really really heavily detailed but i mean it's an okay manual it it doesn't really tell a lot about the unit but there's not a lot of instruction that you need to use this thing so my guess is that this is probably yes this is the main unit right here and um, basically it's it's made out of aluminum and on the top you've got where you would hook up your hose and then right in here this area is your HEPA filter and on this side right here is where you charge it and this is how you turn it on you can hear it it's got three speeds and if you turn it over and you look at it there's some lights right on the top here that show uh, the stages of battery power that's left. It can hook onto your belt or onto a um, an arm strap. So let's turn this off and uh, let's put it aside and let's see what else we got. You've got uh, one connection tube right here which is uh, for connecting it to the masks you've got a second tube and I think you can get um, an adapter so you can put it into eye protection or something so it'll keep it from fogging up certified conformity um, little tag whatever that means you've got a USB charger cord you've got um, a wrist or a um, shoulder or a headband or whatever way you care to wear this thing. Then you've got a whole bunch of uh, KN95 masks that it comes with. And then you've got one KN95 mask which already has a hole in it so that you can hook the mask up. So let's take a look right now and see what's inside uh, the accessory package which is this right here okay so like I said you've got this uh, this strap with this strap you can wear your portable personal air purifier a number of different ways you can wear it on your belt you can wear it on a lanyard you can put it on a helmet, you could wear it on your head, or you can wear it on your arm. 
it's got uh, some sort of a, a plastic piece which probably fits inside the mask and then uh, hooks up to one of these tubes like like this somehow okay can you see that and then um, let's see what else do we have we've got some little white dots I don't know what these are but uh, I'll be back in a second and I'll show how this thing all goes together so here are the main components of your personal air purifier it turns out that these little white dots right here are used to put on the mask so that you know how big the hole needs to be when you create another mask you can put the dot on the mask and then you can cut around it with like a razor blade or something so that's what these dots are for now inside the kit there is this this little doohickey right here it's got um, two raised edges on each side and basically what that's for is if you want to connect um, two pipes what you would do is you would take this put it on the end like this and it snaps inside and then what ends up happening is you can take the other tube like this and you can mate them both together and it'll make make it into into one tube so here's what you want to do you're going to take your unit right here you're going to take the end of it and you're going to place it into this tube just like so and it locks right in the end see that now what you do is you take your mask right here and like i said there's 10 more of them in the in the box you'll take your mask out of the plastic bag like this and you open it up and you see right here there's a little hole you see that see that little hole so what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece right here that has the flat side you're going to push that through this little hole in the back of the mask just like this and you're going to push it through see the way that that came through the mask now what you're going to do is you're going to take the end of this hose and you're going to stick it onto this and you're going to secure it just like this okay so now let's put the thing on and see how it works so the first thing we're going to do is take our mask open it up put it on our face I know I probably sound a little muffled right now, but here's how that works. Now what I'm going to do is actually take the unit. I'm gonna go into the side right here. Here's a, a little, the little button, and I'm gonna turn it on. Now I can feel the air coming in at a very, very low speed. You can probably hear the motor. I'm gonna kick it up another notch, okay? There we go. A lot more airflow into the mask. When you breathe, you don't feel the, uh, the moisture inside the mask that you normally do. And then let's go to high. And that's considerably more airflow into the mask. Okay, so let me turn this off and take this off. And uh, let's talk about it. Well, I think the mask is really comfortable. The airflow is, is, is good, is really, really good. But like I expressed before, my concern is not basically for me. I've got um, clean air coming through because I've got this HEPA filter here. And it's creating a positive air pressure inside my mask. Now, that positive air pressure is also causing air to be pumped out the side of the mask and around the nose because you don't have a total lock like you do with some masks with this mask you have air escaping so it's probably good for you but it might not be good for the people around you 
That being said, I like the mask. I like the concept. If I'm in, a, in an atmosphere where, or an environment where maybe it's really dusty or it's really dirty or there's a lot of people around close to me, maybe I might want to wear it just for my own well-being. If other people aren't wearing a mask, you know, it's a very, very controversial thing right now. And I don't totally endorse this, but for me, I'm going to use it for my own personal space and when I feel I specifically need it. I would recommend it. I'm going to use it. I like it. But that's up for you to decide for yourself and for all of humanity. So with that being said, I'm Jeff with AZ Camera Reviews saying please watch us. Please like us, please share us, and most of all, please subscribe. And for ease of ordering this unit, I have provided a link down below. So you can just click on that link if you want to order one. Um, I don't know how much they're going for right now. I know this one specifically was like $69, but they may drop the price. I understand they may start making it out of plastic. The other thing that I noticed is when you first turn it on and you probably should run it through a couple of cycles, that it smells kind of chemically. And I ran mine um, for a little bit before I actually put it on. So until next time, bye-bye.